Okay, this is going to be about my H2 ProPed uh, drive installation that I did on my uh, Frontier 12, 2017 Frontier 12 new. Um, bought the ProPed drive and it doesn't come with any installation instructions. I had to go on to the, well first I called Donna and she sent me a link to where I could find uh, video installation instructions on the uh, New Canoe website which it wasn't indexed anywhere that I could find but anyway I followed the installation instructions and had to make some modifications since then for various reasons so anyway this is the uh, the drive tower here okay and I've changed the pedals out on it already to some inexpensive bicycle pedals which are narrower and um, they don't have the foot strap on it because the ones that come on there the uh, pedals are weighted and they have a foot strap across the top of it and when you go to put your feet up to the pedals they don't present themselves uh, vertically where you can put your feet to them and because the weight is there it's really difficult uh, because this pedal drive is so tall it's difficult at least for me at age 68 to get my feet up to them so I put these on here because they're easier to index with your foot you don't have any weights you can touch it with your toe and move it where you want it so anyway I put those on there um, so that's the pedal drive system, and if you look at some of my pictures, uh, you'll see uh, how tall it is in relation to the original seat, um, which I had to raise the seat for my own, my own use because it was too much. So, and then, so over here, we have the, the pedal drive cable attaches to the bottom here. There's a pulley down here, and it's a belt drive that goes up to the sprocket here. Uh, attached to the pedals so that when you pedal it the sprocket turns the belt which turns this sprocket down here which twists the cable there's a cable down inside this little housing down here which when you turn it it twists okay it's not a worm gear there's no gears in this thing anywhere now originally they had this cable they had in the instructions pulled this cable back and like tie it up to the side of the um, the uh, freedom track like right here with some tie wraps or whatever, um, tie it to that, to the place to where the pedal or the cable would come out diagonally all the way back here and then hit the head here, the drive head, which the drive head, the cable goes in here and it's twisting, being driven by the pedal. It twists and as it twists, it turns as another sprocket under this cover here. When it twists, it drives the belt that goes down to the propeller that's on the bottom, which is attached to a second sprocket um, that's belt driven, and that's the way the thing, the way it pedals. Okay, so they had me, uh, they have the instructions with you tying it way over here in the Freedom Track at an odd angle. And so that, that starts this thing out, this drive cocked to the left, okay? And then the distance between here and the tower itself is critical. Uh, I can't tell you what it has to be, but you'll have to tune it until you get it where you want it because this cable, when you steer, this cable has got to be able to swing free back and forth from side to side, okay? Because when it's tied over here, where they had us tying it off originally, it shortens the amount of cable that's going to the, to the back of the head and it swings back and forth, okay? But you can't swing it as far to the right because the cable is bound all the way over here. So I had to modify it. So what I did was I untied it from over here and then I brought it over here um, under this makeshift seat base that I made and tied it to where now it's tied and it's coming off in about the center of the boat plus it's up off the deck, uh, off the, the deck of the boat down here so that it's not sitting in fresh water or salt water when it's down there, whichever I tend to take it to. So it comes straight back and it's almost at a per perfect angle to the, to the top of the head. Now the other thing is to raise and lower the drive, there's a cable system here, a rope, that when you pull on the rope, when you pull on the rope, this latch mechanism right here, when you tug it a little bit, See that lever moves a little bit. When you pull it back here, that unlocks it. That, that's actually a lock so that you can move the drive up and out of that latch. If, if it's not locked, then you can't move the drive, it's locked down, okay? So when you go to lift the drive, um, 
and they had these um, clips hooked to this thing here, to this eyelet here, and I wanted it to pull, well, I'll show you. When you lifted the drive, they had this thing over here at this eyelet over here, which once again puts the drag on the lift instead of being 90 degrees to the pivot pin, which the pivot pin is right here, instead of being 90 degrees to the pivot pin, the, the thing is pulling at, a, at an odd angle to the pivot pin. So you have to give it more pull than it had before. This thing was going from here and, and it went down under here and through some eyelets down in here and over here and it comes back over here and comes to uh, this pulley and uh, rope lock mechanism that, that's included with the kit. So when you lift up on it, it unlatches the drive and then it also, um, as you continue to pull, it lifts the drive. Well, because it was pulling at an off angle to lift the drive, you couldn't lift it as high, at, um, pulling at that odd angle, plus it made it harder to lift because you weren't pulling uh, 90 degrees to the pivot pin. So I moved it to put the pivot pin, or to put the rope to pull at the angle. So now when I lift it, it's easily lifted. It, it lifts a lot higher than it did because for me, you need to be able to get the back of the drive up above the bottom. That, that, that uh, propeller needs to come up above the bottom of the keel right here. It needs to be up above that, well up above that, because when you've got this thing on a, uh, on a cart and you're transporting it, you're gonna be transporting it at an angle on the cart, so you can't have this thing doing this, okay? So it's got to be up high. So with the uh, with the rope uh, guided here to where I've got it almost in the center. Once again, I I put a little eyelet down here under this upside down uh, low uh, 360 base well, which I wasn't able to use with the seat because the seat was too low. Put a little eyelet down there to guide it, and so now that bring, brings it into a better angle back here and gives you more leverage on it. Um, putting these tie wraps up here kind of keeps this thing uh, up around the top of the loop, which gives you more leverage if you had a longer thing on here. Like if this wasn't, it was like maybe two inches taller, you'd even have even more leverage to lift this thing up. Because when you come in or you get in the weeds or you come in to shore, you need to lift that thing up right away. Um, you need to be able to do it e easily, okay? Now to the seat, the seat was way too low, way too low for my money because the seat was down several inches below the pedal axis so that when you're sitting in the original seat down on the rigid base low, which is what comes with the boat, um, your, your, your hips are sitting down uh, well below the pedal axis itself here so that you're actually, having, you're actually setting your seat to lean back some and you're pedaling uphill. Pedaling uphill, that doesn't work for me, it's not comfortable and it's it's just odd so i had to raise it to get up to this and somebody said well you can't lower they couldn't make this um pedal tower any shorter i disagree um if they made pedals with a heel cup strap in the back so that your heel sat on that thing and, and wouldn't slide down uh you could actually drop that pedal a lot closer down here. You could probably drop it at least two or three inches lower, making this shorter and easier to work with. Then you wouldn't have to raise that seat up so much. So what did I do? I bought a seven inch seat extension to put in there, which it didn't work on these, uh, on these other risers. So I put a couple of two 